What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Chromecast. My name is Joe, joined here today by Robbie. What's up? Gabriel. Hello. Andy Cam over there. Hey, guys. We have Paul the Plantipus, Dan the Dino. Whole crew's here. New character. Ready to rock and roll. Carl the Cacti. Uh, my uh Steve me, the succulent. Me, <laughs> Steve, me and uh, uh me and Andrew have our uh, matching shoes on today. Um maybe we could just name our I mean, my shoes match as ma- well. name our sneakers. <laughs> yeah. We got matching we're twins. Don't all of your we shoes match? twin sneakers. It, yeah, all of them. <laughs> all of my shoes match. It's crazy. I mean, I've got the one that has the scuff on the left foot, but they're still they're still matching shoes. I mean <laughs> Every once in a while, I get that one. Wow! I'm like, oh, oh, these don't match. Dang it! Forgot. <laughs> Didn't even check in Gabe's, for left. Gabe's gonna show up. Well, do you, I, do you all remember? <laughs> say I won't. I'm gonna flip, gonna I wanna flip flop and then a high top. Every, there was like that, that, that was like a cool thing uh, growing up of people wearing. wearing mismatch yeah. uh, Converse and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I never got into that. My yeah, daughter yeah. likes the mismatch socks thing. She likes oh, wearing mismatch yeah. socks, like on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Apparently it's, it's a, like cool. It's cool thing, kids cool, do it. I've seen there's some NCAA basketball players that do it. Interesting. Mm. Yep. That's uh yeah. Never got into that. I I like Derek, feel. Derek that we saw at lunch today. His wife has done that since she was a young child, and oh, my okay. daughter idolizes his wife. So Learn something she, new every day. Yeah. There you go. I love it. She likes the myth man I, I love it. Um, so before we hop into everything, we've got two quick announcements. We're still doing our giveaway. Yep. We're still rolling. We're still rocking and rolling. We're coming right up on our first giveaway, 5,000 mm-hmm. cool. 5, subs. So if you're listening to this, uh, you may not know that we have a YouTube channel for the Chromecast podcast. Go check it out. Click the link in the description. Get entered to win. We're going to do giveaways at five, six, seven, eight, and 9,000. And then at 10,000, we're giving away the Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's sitting there. It's wanting a home. It, it wishes it, for a home. It's 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 sad. It's sitting over there crying. It wants yeah. still. It's, it, it left the store and it's still in its packaging. It's in its, it's, it's chilling. plastic wrap, just sitting there, sad, waiting for a home. Yep. So if you and wouldn't want this, it be better for us to give it away before like the holidays? That I think that it should be a goal. Like well before the holidays. I think that should be a goal. So, Let's make it happen, folks. So we can't do it without y'all. No, you gotta go. Gotta go. Click subscribe. Yep. Enter to win and uh, and help us out. Yep. Uh, we're really excited about it, and uh, it's uh, it's a, a fun fun giveaway. Help us help us get to ten thousand subs on this channel, and uh, we love doing this video version. Andy Cam always throws in some fun little Easter uh, Easter eggs. Last week had one of my favorites. Was that the Space Cowboy <laughs> that was one? Space Cowboys. <laughs> Houston, we have a <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was great. <laughs> One of my favorite little Easter eggs. That, so was, far. The, that was the best Easter egg, but the best short clip. Because uh, we also have a plug this other channel because it doesn't it doesn't get all the love. But the well, I guess it wouldn't be on there, would it? The Which clips, one? The clips channel doesn't have. It's got the longer clips portion. is like segments, like yeah. the eight to. So did we do the short segments. on the? I put it out on main channel. I put it out on main channel. Or on the Chromebox. Okay. Uh, I'm like Chromebox. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Yeah, that was probably my favorite. Yeah, short, like a short out of the podcast. Vertical, vertical video. Uh, We uh, were discussing keyboards last week and why they're angled up. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense. Go check it out. It was pretty good. It just turned out. It was funny. We've we've started doing more um, shorts. We actually we tested shorts on the podcast first. Uh, Google introduced shorts. At first, it was a little unclear if they were going to be separated from analytics and revenue and all of these things that matter for uh, us running a company. You not, know? <laughs> not just unclear to us, you know, yeah, like, unclear to right. Google, I think. Yeah. The time, too. It, They're like, ah, we don't know. They ironed out ironed out everything. It's yeah. great. Uh, it seems like it's, it's working quite well. Everything is separated. And so we tested it there. But now, uh, most of our vertical videos that we post, even if it is a you know, uh, a segment from the the podcast. I still put it out on the main channel, on yep. Chroma Box. So you can go check those out there. We're on TikTok now too. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're we're we're, we're TikTokers. Ticking, we're ticking and tacking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're TikTokers. We're uh, you know, we're we're like, I don't know. I I don't mind being late to the game on that because it's like, it's not something core to what we do. We're yeah. not we're not like s- social <laughs> influencers or anything. Like we create our content right. and. We do these other things that are yeah. just fun, you know, to help support what we do. And, uh, and yeah, I think we kind of finally wrapped our heads around in, in Andrew helping out with the edits and us just having the bandwidth to, to create Actually short form yeah. video. We had talked about it forever. We, we kind of knew the plan. 
Uh, and so then we were just able to execute now with with Andy Andy Cam over there crushing the edits. I'm here to help. Are just, we on, are we on Rumble yet? Rumble? Rumble? Yeah. I don't even know. You know, be real. Never we need to get Rumble? on be real. Be real. You ever heard of Rumble? I've never heard you of Rumble. Check it out. Check okay, it out. it's monetized and everything. I'll be darned. I will check it like, out. Tens of tens of people watch it. Tens of tens every week. Dozens. Be real is interesting to Dozens. me, but I think it's going to be a summer thing. Like I think it's oh, going to really? be gone, and it's going to. Oh, okay, it's already getting broken because they now they allow you like half the day to actually post. Oh well, it's oh, like that's it's not the that point. Thing. Yep. Yeah, totally. I remember. That. Like that's well, it. You lost the one thing that made you cool. I heard something about Facebook doing a like. Of course they will. Uh, something they they basically stole it. Right. I'm like they're either going to get acquired by Meta or they're just going to go away. Yeah, yeah, Meta will redo it and right because in, in a crappier replaced. way. By and the then way. no like, one will be interested. That's that's what Meta does. Yeah, like, we'll take anything it's and everything that all of it works and just do it poorly. But enough people are on here that whatever. Yeah, like that. It's crazy. Facebook is just so awful. It's God. insane. Like, what, I, a, I, what a hot mess. I, like I have to have it. Like I'm in there daily for work stuff, uh, and. I use the business manager, but there's some things in the business manager that I can't quite do. So and then I have to have so like confusing. I have to like oh. click into my main account and then go over to Chrome and Box, and it's, it's an like absolute still nightmare. just the worst. Yep. And I'm well, like, like the way I wish that they're I didn't handling have to do this. reels from Instagram is a mess. It's it's broken and dumb. The way that you share them, because again, it's Facebook is just a conglomerate of things that have been stolen from other companies. <laughs> yeah. Which personally, I think if you make or post a reel on one of them, it should they should be the same thing. Yeah, yeah. like we were talking about this earlier. I randomly got an invite to the Reels Play bonus program, whatever. So, but it was on Facebook, not on Instagram. I've never been invited on Instagram, and I don't post reels on Facebook. But now I'm posting reels on Facebook because I'm like, well, I mean, they're going to give me a bonus to yeah. post reels. But it's like, wait, I, do you do it in the TV section? Is it here? Like they have all these different places now to yeah, post, and I'm like, it's so weird. But then, like this morning, I'm trying to post a very simple reel, and it just stuck, and then it would disappear, and then it was gone, and it didn't yeah. even exist. I did it like three or four times, so I ended up just making the video in a video editor and just uploading it right. that way, right. which is fine. But now. Now, since lunch, I've gotten three notifications saying that my I now have five duplicate reels that were just out in the ether somewhere. Well, they just all showed up. Good job, Meta. Well, and I'm sure well they suck. Yeah, I'm sure their algorithm Killing loves it, buddy. you posting duplicate content. Yeah. So I'm like, you guys really need to get this figured it, out. And, and it's, it's it's the it's the product of not making anything anymore, of only aping other people's yeah. things. Like that's all Facebook does anymore. Yeah. And it's, I don't yeah, know. it's wild. It's, I, I haven't liked Facebook for years. Yeah. What they're doing now is just, everything is just gross. Yeah. I can't stand Facebook. Yeah, it's 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 rough. But like, you know, um, y y w I feel like Marquez has talked about this some of like, these new things come out and he always kind of waits a little bit. Like, let's see oh, how yeah. it kind of fleshes out and see kind right. of what, what ends up happening with it. Like, be real. There's like brands starting to do it now. And like, I saw, and like some of it's pretty creative. Sure. Like, they're getting... They're getting clever about like having, you know, some um, um, like special discount codes that they're doing just through through Be Real and like things like that. Yeah. But I think the as soon as all the brands is... get on there and then the parents get on, then it's done. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what, it's, well, it's, yeah. it's such a, a cool idea. Like Be Real is, but they need to keep that window to like thirty minutes. Yeah, and yeah. if you miss it for the day, you missed it. Yeah, because like, it started as two minutes, right? I guess we should explain at least what it is. So it's a it's a it's a social uh, app. Um, social media app. Can you look up real quick, Andy Cam, what the window is now? Because I read yeah, it the other day and it was I, like, are you kidding? I like, heard something about this. But the article was that Instagram people are ruining. The Instagrammers are coming to ruin Be Real, yeah, basically. Right. Is what's happening. <laughs> so you essentially get a notification on your phone and you have a certain time uh, period to post, post. Yep. and it takes a photo from your front camera and your back camera. I don't know if it does it simultaneously or if you know. can like take the front one and then the back one. I don't know. But the whole idea is to create more authentic Right. Like these are just these aren't curated. This is just my life. Like this is what's this going is on right now. Real life, yeah. Because Instagram and Facebook, to a degree, uh, tw I think Twitter's pretty real life. Like, yeah, it's true. actually the worst side of all <laughs> humanity. Yeah. Um, Reddit, but yes, yeah, it's Twitter. one step up from Reddit. Yeah, uh, Reddit's not really social media. It's no. it's a forum, but yeah, yeah. but Twitter is the worst. <laughs> can be as, the worst. as what can be. What can be. Most people are like this hell site. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah but um, the. So, yeah, Twitter, I don't think, is, is responsible for this. But, you know, like, the Instagrams and Facebooks of the world have created this idea that people, you know, post. You only post the best things. And you yeah. actually 
fake most of what your right. life actually is to create you this create online a persona. persona. Yeah. Um, and it, it has created all sorts of social uh, anxiety for people. Yeah. Like, Very weird stuff that's yeah, come from that. Yeah, it's, it's not good. No, we were talking about, yeah, we were talking about this earlier today, too. It's such a shame because Instagram was so fu- – and it, look, short-form video is where it's at right now, and that's great. I like short-form video. I've gotten kind of sucked into reels and all that stuff, and YouTube's doing it. But look, can we silo the stuff? Because Instagram used to be such an awesome place for people who just liked – showing off their cool photos that they yep. took with their phones or this that whatever yeah. and now it's not it's not like you can still find good photography on instagram but it's like facebook is no, it's, they are it's pushing a, it aside it's an oh, algorithm yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day they're the they're determining what care. you see it is not a chronological feed yeah i mean that's it's, what one of the hasn't fo- been that yeah, in one of the big reels time. going around right now that people are remixing is it's just a guy saying you know instagram says i have to post a reel every day to blah yeah. blah, blah so yeah. here, I, here's a picture that i turned into a reel because My, pe- because people <laughs> understand pictures that, yeah but people are understanding that that's all Instagram wants you to do right yeah. now is post reels. I mean, they're paying people to post reels. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's, it's crazy. My favorite one that's kind of along those lines is like, uh, Instagram told me that my my reels need to be shook, and it just cuts off. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like six seconds long. Mm. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like... It's sad to it's, see like Meta bought... Well, it was Facebook back then, but bought Instagram. Yeah. And Instagram was fine. Instagram, Instagram was doing was its own thing. Instagram was great the day. And and now they've bought it and they're trying to rework it into whatever is popular right now yeah. instead of just letting it continue to be its thing. Right. And go build something new for yourself, right. Meta, instead of just well, they're, aping they're, everything. They're, they're building like, VR, man. Uh, but that's the oh, thing yeah. is they, they invest, seem to be really yeah, doing well. They've, with that. They've Let's dialed, take our three year old headset yeah. and add a hundred bucks to it. They've dialed Done. that back the amount Fixed. of money that they're investing. But when was the last time they did anything that was like, hey, this is cutting edge that we we've developed? I mean, that's the thing. The VR stuff. They bought Oculus. Right. Right. Like they didn't come up with that. They went and acquired a company, well, they, and they're running it I into think the ground. They've had, had, had a right unique now. idea since Facebook was created, and that wasn't even Mark Zuckerberg's <laughs> idea. So yeah. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's it's wild. But be real is an interesting concept. Uh, I, I think it was like a, I, I was listening to some NPR story and they were they were had a couple people on uh, talking about it, and somebody had brought up the whole like you know it's it was a college like hey the, everybody's out of school it's the summer we're doing this it's fun and now it's yeah. like back to real life back to real life people. because now it's like oh here's my laptop that i've been staring at doing studying or i'm at work yeah i'm at work same again. thing here i am again at work again you know you're not out doing stuff having <laughs> right. fun you know so, so did you what's the window what's it's the window two minutes still, it's two, still minutes. Two, minutes. two minutes yeah so the article i read they were talking about like oh you know these people posted later on that day and i'm like oh i thought that wasn't the point well but i've I s- also seen articles like how to find out what time the be real will be because wow. yeah, it comes up it's yeah. it's, it's, it's like spontaneous time you're, right, yeah. it's this whole idea too of like social media companies telling you oh you need you, you need to be more authentic right. so then like so then you end up having this weird thing where the be real notification comes in you're like scrambling like so like what if is so this, your is notification this, is this authentic comes in enough? does this look cool and How's then my you hair spoof look? your location so you're now three hours behind where you were when your notification came in so now you have three hours to prepare for the notification to come again yeah. there you go see there i it figured is. it all out I there still, it is i can still make it look like i'm awesome yeah. um, I'm, I'm like instead just instead of the mediocre person that I am. I'm just gonna, yeah. I don't care. My gonna, reels are all pi- all videos of food, so I'm just people. I'm are just gonna, gonna have. Out, I'm gonna but. start a B reel where it's like just photos of me in places, and I just hold them up and somehow get the photo. <laughs> and it just every week, it's like, dang, Joe's back in Italy again. Joe's out mm-hmm. in L. A. again. Gosh, every wow. day, this guy's somewhere new. <laughs> Just a globe trotter, man. <laughs> I go, I, I wait for the B reel, and then I get on the plane and go somewhere else. Yeah. It's just my life. It's my life. I'm, a, 20, I'm so authentic. Twenty four <laughs> hours to get wherever I'm going. Let's go. Maybe not. If yeah, yeah. Might have to late. Might not have that many. Yeah, yeah. You can only go a little bit. Anywho, I don't know how we got on this subject, but uh, uh, short form video is dope. We're on TikTok. I yep, think that's what started it. Uh, it's fun. I mean, we love making that sort of content. We've, we've, uh, you, you might notice. Uh, We've transitioned a little bit on YouTube, or starting to transition a little bit on YouTube to uh, less frequency of main uploads mm-hmm. and doing short form uh, video to kind of fill some of that um, content. And yeah, it's it, me and me and Andy Cam were talking yesterday. Like the pace is a lot better, and we want to focus on these 
the one video that we get to make right. or that we focus on making for that week and it's already been really fun this week we had a shoot that was so uh, we might as well go and tease this yeah let's tease it we uh we did a shoot this week where i mean it was an all-day shoot and we mapped it out we said this is what we need to do we filmed it all and it's something a little different it's a lot different it's going i can't like it's the first one in a while like we've done reviews and unboxings and all that kind of stuff before so I'm always I'm happy to watch the end product to see how it came out, but it's like yeah, we've done this enough that this is just kind of what we do. Yeah, it's like this is not that. No, <laughs> so I cannot wait to see. Yeah, it. we can. The video's we, not even done yet, so we can't even talk you, about you it. You can yet, tease a couple of the photos, maybe. There, there's one of an X on the ground that yeah. a- Andy Cam can throw in yeah. uh, right now. Uh, so it's just yeah, it's something fun for us. It's a little change of pace, and mm-hmm. and again, just focusing on that that main video. And we're going to continue to do reviews and unboxings sure. and how tos and in all of that this content. Week, this ended up being the, yeah, the this, video that if, was the right time to do it. Yeah. Just kind of in between devices. And if we if we want to focus on you know trying something a little different, w- you know it's easy for creators to get pigeonholed, right? Like you yeah. end up creating the same content, and you you end up just kind of doing it, and it and it can get repetitive. Yeah. Um, and I think trying to constantly, uh, you know. Every, well, not constantly, but every now and then, take a step back and and kind of reevaluate right. and and uh, you know try to be innovative and do something a little different. So yeah. it's super fun. I cannot wait to see it. Yeah. It'll it'll be it's out be next great. week. Yeah, it'll be out next week. So um, okay, let's dig into a couple things from uh, from this week's news. We've already forgotten what we were going to talk about. What are we even talking about? What, what are, are we doing? What day is it? What are we doing? Okay. Are we podcasting right now? I think so. Is this live? <laughs> What are we doing? It feels oh, like Chromebooks. Friday. Chromebooks. It, does. it is my Friday. I'm yeah, I was going to say, because Joe's leaving. That's I'm why. Yeah, so. I'm going to it. I'm going to the drag strip. And we're going to do some <laughs> rearranging here. Yep. So. Yeah. It's that, That'll be cool, too. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see. I'm super forward to it. I'm excited Wasn't to get back. Wasn't he gone last time we rearranged it something? I was or gone. You were gone. No, I you were gone. gone. Yeah, was, we, that's right. Yeah, because yeah. we were like, oh, every time we have to move furniture, because yeah, yeah. oh, Robbie's cause gone. It was August, the beginning of August, yeah. uh, when we got to take over the big room, and I was down in Gulf Shores that's last year. Right. I was like, hey, yeah. the Pixel Seven or the Pixel Six is official with Tensor. Remember that happened while I was down there. Yep. And also, they said we can go ahead and move. And so yeah. I was like, well, have at it, guys. Yep. Yeah. So I'm getting paid so, back now. So Joe's going to be out. He's going to be doing stuff fun. You guys are going to be moving things. What do you mean, you still guys? fun. You too. And then I'll be working. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> you sounds got, you, right. You may, you <laughs> may have the sounds better normal. The, uh, <laughs> I mean, Robbie and I will not look at this as work because we're doing something we really want to do. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fun. Which well, could it, overall better the entire office. So oh, yeah, I think, yeah, so. I think it's going to be better. Be, our I think it's our whole be great. studio, everything is we'll, going to be we'll, better because of this. We're so. essentially going to hopefully... Uh, move the studio A, which is like where we film all of our main main channel YouTube videos. And also, where we store all of our stuff. all of our stuff. We're going to move that into this office where we're where we're filming this podcast. It's where we have our golf simulator as well, and it's going to work out so much better to have this all in there. Yep, we can. It's still a podcast in here, but have. All, way all of more our other gear for video and then like shots. b-roll b-roll for the 714 that we just put out we're going to talk about that yeah. here in a minute we ended up filming some b-roll in here yeah. and it's just a little bit of a different look we used the lantern like yeah. it was really cool so this having is, a couple extra textures to, sh- to film on desks and stuff to film on and different looks this different. nice wall if yeah. you're not watching the video yeah. you have to go you see it to see the wall but this is the best wall in the however world. if you uh, have been following along for a few years this yeah. was when we uh, first formed the the company Chrome Unboxed and actually kind of all went in full time back in 2019. This was actually the studio that we used for a little while. Gosh, uh, yeah, we didn't move over into Six that other room probably. for a little while. So you can look at um, it's like Duet Pixelbook Go era. Original duet was filmed in here. Yeah. Um, so like pre-pandemic stuff yep. basically i think gets actually i think we filmed a, cu- a couple things during the on the Very beginnings beginning. of the, on, the uh, pandemic because uh, i remember coming yeah, yeah coming we in really, here yeah. trying to figure out like are we supposed to be wearing masks in here or, like should we uh should the you work put the camera yeah the work from home in? the the yeah. whole uh, was, backpack because yeah. that linux one that we were talking about the other day was, was t- february of 20 so it was right before the pandemic was official yeah, yeah. so i mean yeah. that means we spent a good six months probably um mm-hmm. in in this studio space and it was always my favorite, like, so. uh, you know, as far as the, uh, 
just the look, the mm-hmm. number of shots that we can get. So several different, about several that. different options. I will throw out one thing. As we do this, uh, I kind of kind of want to take the chair rail off. In here, just do it. If we're gonna do it, do, do it. We, do we have the paint though? Oh, we can. We can, they have this 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 color. I know for sure because we used it to I touch up the how wall well that chair rail okay. is attached in there. <laughs> Uh, it's probably gonna leave a. It's probably gonna leave a mark, but we'll we'll. Mark's we'll, not worried. We'll I just worried about it up. pulling it and ripping a chunk of. Oh yeah, along. we we probably will. It'll it's probably gonna be some work. Yeah, it. We'll have to spackle it all and clean it all up. And that's maybe we it get will it off be one worth wall. It. For sure, for sure, that wall. I would right. love at minimum those two. I would really love all of them. To uh, we, we get, yeah. Mm. But anywho, stay tuned. Maybe uh, yeah, maybe next week's video will get filmed in a in a new spot. Um. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay. Uh, let's dig into. So uh, let's do the watch price first. So we have uh, we have the Pixel Watch coming very soon. Yep. And uh, the price leaked out. Yeah. So, so three ninety nine is uh, with LTE, mm-hmm. um, and that that puts it I think in a really good range because uh, three ninety nine is what gets you the non LTE entry level Apple Watch. Is that right or no? Is it was it four ninety nine? If you don't mind pulling those up, just so I feel I like it's eight hundred dollars. No, I'm just kidding. I want to I, say the Apple Watch might be a hundred more without yes. LTE. I think is what it was. And then the interesting part of this, though, is that the new Samsung Watch Galaxy 5. Watch Five, the, just the general standard Galaxy Watch Five, and we're I don't know that we have firm uh, sizes on the Pixel Watch yet. I don't know that there's. We think there's going to be two, but we're not sure yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just have to compare it to the forty-two millimeter because we just don't know. Um, that that watch is three twenty nine, three thirty nine. Yeah, that's so why I'm looking up right now to see what just the stock no deals or no. Yeah, it's, I want to say it was seventy dollars. So I think so. Sixty Th- or seventy dollars. This version watch. is because I know the larger no, one sorry. was three forty nine. The non LTE is two seventy nine. That's the four. I'm talking about the five. Oh yeah, I thought, this is the five. No, I'm saying it's the same size as this oh, one. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. So the LTE it's 279. 279. If you buy it outright. Oh, without LTE. That's 329 right. with LTE. Yeah, 329. So 70 bucks less. Yeah. Um yeah. and you know, it's not a bad watch. <laughs> it's not like it's some uh schlub. Yeah, so. unless unless you have it on T-Mobile and maybe you'll get uh voicemail notifications every single time that you got one right there. I'm I telling you, man. I always have one. Always. I go for a run as soon as I as soon as I start my run, I walk out the door as soon as my phone disconnects, disconnects. from the watch yep. and it's on the T-Mobile LTE, I get five or six yep. uh, voicemail and there's no way to uh, oh, swipe them away when I had it, and you I have to that. sit and listen to them. And even then, like they they'll show away. back up I've, the next I've day. I've read through forum after forum. I've tried every method of Sorry, doing side it. Side rant here. I hate it. it. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> so a, annoying. It's a thing with T-Mobile, and they some some people are saying it had something to do with their purchase of Sprint. I don't know how that would have anything to do with it, but it's something with their cellular voicemail network because it's technically forwarding to your watch's right. phone yes. number. Right. Some guys are saying, well, call the watch's number. I've tried that. I can't do it. Can't it do won't it let me call the number, nope. which right. doesn't make any sense either. But it's annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> but yeah. Andy it, Cam, you're going to need to go back to your cellular days and troubleshoot. Digging figure and figure this out for us. So, yeah, and we were talking about this about. yesterday. I was watching the Verges video on the Galaxy Watch 5. It's really nice. It looks it's dope that they have the sapphire good. glass on it. But the upgrades on it are so minimal other They're than the glass. Very, very minimal. Very minimal. To me, it's not worth getting it when we know the Pixel Watch like, is going to be We had that one soon. chart pulled up looking through oh, yeah. the differences between the 4 they and 5. They added one sensor, but that sensor doesn't do anything Slightly right larger battery on the new Pro, yeah. bigger one. Well, and, um, and I think yeah. part of it, too, is it's like it's it's so close mm-hmm. to the Pixel Watch becoming available that it's like, yeah, I'm at least going to wait and see yeah. what this thing does. Because... The the truth is the hardware is only part. It's probably a, the the more minor part of the entire reason why someone would buy the Pixel Watch over any other Wear OS device. It's going to come down to the software. It's going to come down to the experience of using it with the phone. Is it great with Pixel devices and not great and okay with Android devices? Is it going to be? Is there a Pixel Watch app just like with the Pixel Buds where you kind of get all of it any on any Android device because it's not the case necessarily with Samsung. Like Samsung watches are better with Samsung phones. There's several features. We've talked about it on this show before. There's several features that Gabe and I can't use on that watch because we don't have a Samsung phone. Right. It's right. like, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that's no good. Um, I don't 
I don't foresee Google doing that. Uh, Which they said the five's better about that because it's truly yeah, like where oh, it's, some of them, it's, a, it's a lot more user friendly for like just the, Android the users. The EKG stuff, the EKG I stuff. I don't know if you can or not. Hmm. Yeah, because the the intro to the uh, the Verge's video about it was great because you know it had she, him. She, yeah, it had she me went all I mean, through all the stuff. She's like. It's finally, finally the Wear OS watch we've all been waiting for. There's no limitations regardless of what manufacturer the phone is. And I was like, oh, okay, and then it goes, what? <laughs> rewinds. That's what That's I what wish I could say. To say. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's you a good got intro. Me. Really good you intro. Got got me. I feel like we did a some kind of intro like that this a one was long good. time ago. We did it. It got me. Like it that. was really good. Uh, but yeah, so it's clearly those are still limitations yeah. of it. And that's and, part of it with a company like Samsung. They want that verticality that, right. that, Apple has, and the only yeah. way to do that is to limit certain things right. to having to have Samsung sure. gear, and that's sure. just the way it is. Um, and so, if if the Pixel Watch uh, gets around some of that stuff, I think that's a for huge seventy dollars more. If yeah. the the um, the way that the UI works with it is unique and um, unobtrusive and out of your way. Uh, uh, in ways that Wear OS generally isn't. Yeah. Um, I think that'll be a huge draw. If the build quality is premium to go along with those things, I think you put all those together and it's like, yeah, I'll pay $70 more not to have a bunch of software headaches uh, with my watch and it's just going to seamlessly work with my Pixel right. or my Samsung. If right. I have a Samsung phone, it doesn't matter. I get the Pixel Watch app and everything works the way it's supposed to. Um, if that's the case, I, I think they have all the reason in the world to charge 399 for it yeah uh, assuming it's nice and premium yeah. i hope that uh i hope that it is uh, uh, on on pixel phones you get kind of the pixel experience mm. right it's not just your regular you know regular android and if this watch has the pixel kind of spin on Wear OS, you know, it gives you a couple little extra things. And that's kind of what it looks like from some of the images we've seen so far. This whole at a glance. Yeah, idea. it's like they're going to give their own little spin on it, you know, which, you know, uh, the Fossil watch that I had uh, prior to getting the uh, Samsung is Gen 4, I think, is what that one was. I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't know. I haven't worn that watch in a really long time. Uh, it had fairly stock wear os yeah the the for, the for a while wear os was wear os you couldn't yeah. mess with it like if you built a wear os watch that's what you had to use and i i i like that watch a lot it just started getting <laughs> that processor started slowing yeah. down a little bit and, yeah, and that's been one of the huge problems with wear os just in general there's not been a, a proper processor and so like that's the the galaxy watch four and now the five like samsung finally wrangled yeah. some CPU yeah. power in these that makes it not a bad experience and it's, using and, it. And, and it's great. I like the user experience yeah. on that on that watch. I, I really enjoy it. It's easy to move around, but it's got some of this extra stuff that I just don't love. And, and I'm like, oh, so if the what Pixel Watch with Samsung stuff right. all the time. So you know? if the Pixel Watch has that kind of good, clean Pixel UI, you know, they've kind of given their own take on on Wear OS, or that's just stock Wear OS, like whatever it ends up being, because yeah. this obviously is Samsung tied in. If it's that, I. I'm, we keep talking about it. I'm just so stoked. Yeah, yep. I, th I think the idea with the Pixel Watch is here's here's just like Pixel phones or Google's take on Android. Right. This is Google's. They've they've made Wear OS now to where other companies can have their kind of take on it uh, for better or for worse. You know, that's just that's the way I, I feel like the way the Android ecosystem has to work. Like the idea that we could have one version of Android that goes on all like most manufacturers won't make it. They need something. It, it's less and less, yeah. yeah, and it's less and less these days because, like, every phone has all these features. Right. So it's like it's become difficult. But at least if you want to add some certain software to do some certain thing with Android, you can. Uh, it's not Google saying no. You have to have you know the exact same. It's not like Chrome OS. Like you have to have the same thing. It's it's open for that kind of interpretation. And in the cutthroat world of smartphones, that's yeah. kind of the way it's yeah. got to be. I think it's that's true. of of Wear OS too, yep. and maybe it was just like, hey, we need Samsung on our side on this. Like, they had been doing their own uh, Tizen thing for years, and it's like this was a way to be like, hey, we, it's fine. Yeah, yeah do as what much, you want yeah, with it. As much as it pains me to admit it, the the this direction that Android and Wear OS have gone, be, just because of the nature of the beast, it this whole conversation makes me understand more and more why Apple holds on to like iMessage and oh, stuff sure. because Google should be able to offer a great Wear OS experience with the Pixel Watch without any sacrifices like you get when you use a Samsung watch with a non-Samsung phone. You should be able to buy the Pixel Watch and just know, hey, this is Google. 
I have an Android phone. Works. I get everything that I. There's nothing on there that's limited. Yeah. But if I have a Pixel phone, there's this one other thing. But I know that I, can, I have to have both of those. So yeah. It may, it stinks that that's you know that that might be the case. But it's <laughs> Google's phones are really good and really affordable. So if you want that experience, it's not hard to go out and get it. And you don't. Right. You still don't have to be tied down to you know an Apple. Yeah. Phone. <laughs> and I I, I don't. I wouldn't fault Google for going that route if they if yeah. they have a couple no. a couple, couple features little, that are pixel yeah. only. Um, I, I can't fault them for doing that. Um, I still kind of hope they don't, but yeah. You know, I think more I than anything, know. maybe the it'll just be the the their take on the UI. You know, it's like it's just I this so. this other way of getting your information. Like yeah. that's kind of the the unique thing about it. It's not necessarily like an exclusive thing. It's just like the the UI yeah. of it. It will be unique enough that. And we'll probably see people follow suit bit. with similar features, but Google seems to be really dedicated, obviously, to this whole at-a-glance thing and things like that. They're they're doing stuff with that in Chrome OS and everything as well, but uh, they're going to have their own. It's going to have the Material U. It's going to be Google's sure. thing. And then we'll see other people take to You know, to my boy, that was a great example as far as watches. They had Wear OS on their phones, and they made one of the first their phones their smart watches they made one of the first ones that had the new uh qualcomm chip in it and it's great i still have it it's a, it's a great watch they had their own skin on the ui they had i can't remember what they call theirs like they have something on there so, but you can disable the apps if you want you can get a relatively pure android experience with it and you're going to see people doing similar types of at a glance and things like that and i I'm, i applaud google for for paving that way because where os needed it it was very close to being dead yeah i really do hope that you know since they've <clears> taken <throat> so much time to do this that they're not going to show up with like a thousand of these and be like well we're sold out we'll get them we'll get more when we, when we can like they've been held on to these for a while like make no, sure the they should be a good care yeah, they, it should be like a samsung watch launch yeah, honestly yeah i mean it should be widely available i yes. would love to see it in stores and everything and you know um it, 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 they they announced it already you know like they you, right. you you've been hyping this thing up you you better right. show up and and have these in stock and if somebody wants to go buy one when they're available they need to be able to do that yep um yeah so we'll know more we'll know no more soon we still don't yeah, have an official date no, we, don't, we don't we don't we don't know anything the yet rumor date still saying first week october yep so, so that's what i'm sticking with until i, I hear it hear different yeah yeah so um so we'll, we'll know more soon but uh let's take a quick break for an ad and we'll be right back Alrighty, welcome back, everyone. Uh, Andrew just mentioned it, so I'll mention it on on air here. The uh, Chrome Unbox Special Edition bag of Anniversary Blend is showing up at people's doorsteps. Cheers, cheers to that. It uh, it's cool. It's awesome seeing people get their orders in and yeah, and uh, people supporting. It's uh, it's it's a great blend of coffee. It's so so yummy. It's so good. Just finished a, just, my third cup of it. And it's just... You, yeah, it's guys, fun. you guys just chugging coffee. Yeah, should have made one for the break. Yeah, he's got a soda <laughs> and a coffee. He's a champ. So, you know who Mike Lindell is? Hmm? You know Mike Lindell, right? Hmm. You know Mike Lindell. I just dribbled Coke on my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does he do that? <laughs> All right. My pillow, the my pillow guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everybody knows Mike Lindell, and we're not going to talk about whether you like him or hate him. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but he has a lot of commercials on TV because he sells all sort of things now. Well, they now have my coffee, no. which it, he's not making it. He's sourcing it from whatever. Blah blah blah. It's all like fair trade coffee or whatever. But he's talking about. I guarantee. I can't talk like he does. It will be the best cup of coffee you have ever. Wow. and i'm just like man i really want to order one just so i can bash it because i guarantee it's probably it's just like it's all of the not. other fly by night roasting companies you're going to get a bag of stuff that tastes comparable to a cigar butt exactly and it might not be, it might be okay coffee but i bet you i would wager the price of a bag of that coffee it's not as good as what we yeah. get from fresh Roast. look it up look it up andrew it's my, my coffee, coffee. It's my yeah. dot com I think so. I'm good on him for getting that. Maybe it's not. A great uh, URL. Hey, he's got money. Say, I mean, have probably, you seen his slippers? They look oh like they were gosh. stamped out of like a pressure injected What sort foam of weird late night TV are you watching? <laughs> Bro, it's on Fox. <laughs> Don't you know that Fox News owns Mike Lindell? <laughs> 
He is every other commercial on Fox News. He bro. signed. He yeah, signed his soul away. Yeah, he is. He is one hundred percent. And he's always got like shirt unbuttoned, big gold cross, like he's from like nineteen eighty. Oh my oh, yeah, god! Yeah. He's got the 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 big American flag back here. He's got some award for excellence at something uh-huh. over here. Oh, I'm yeah. not sure what. Yeah, it's great. What yeah. do we got, Andy? Twelve Cam? ounce bag is twenty four ninety five. Yikes! Twenty four. Is it mycoffee.com? Uh, it's under mystore.com. Uh, my, the, he yeah. owns mystore.com. Wow. Well, yeah. Good on so, him. Look up Anywho. his new slippers. Oh, my god. They look like something that, uh, like, uh, Sheriff Woody would wear. That just that color and that plastic texture, that's what they look like. Wow. I'm getting you a pair for your birthday. Mm. You, look oh, like, you look like a slipper guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> you wear slippers. I knew it. Uh-huh. <laughs> when it gets cold. Knew it. My toes but, yeah. just get cold. I have Go. some buffalo plaid ones that say Papa Bear on it. So nice. I know. <laughs> nice. I'm going to have to say Teddy Bear. <laughs> teddy Bear. Wow. Wow. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, a lunch, and you don't know. <laughs> so, that was a lunch joke. Yeah. We can we can tell folks around here in the, in the South, which we're not. I mean, we're the South, but. On the edge. We're on the edge. Uh, it's very common for. You know, a waiter or or no, someone. Waitress. Yeah, it's it's someone. usually like a speedway clerk. It, it, it's that does it to me. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, uh it's it's uh Sugar. it's common to have little little names for for everybody. Like pet names for every person yeah. you see. Hey, how you doing, honey? Or, hey, sweetie. Yeah, baby doll. Baby doll. Yeah. So baby doll. I was, called, love. I was called baby hey, doll. <laughs> Robbie was love baby doll today. I was, I was love baby boy. You were yeah. baby boy. What was the other one? What's she Largest called? man at the table. Yeah. Hey baby, there, baby boy. The baby boy. <laughs> what was my other name? She had three. You, you, so it was. You had one other one. I don't remember. I, mean, I think I got a sweetheart. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think you had like something, something. something well, well, it was baby bear at first, sweetie. right? Sweetie, sweetie pie. No, baby doll. <laughs> baby, baby doll. doll. Yeah, yeah I, I, said, doll, I said if I'm a baby, baby doll, doll, not a baby love, doll, I'm a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, and then he said, "No, I'm the teddy bear." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Wow. Okay, uh, coffee. Yeah. If you want some great coffee, freshly roasted, delivered right to your doorstep. Sugar. Peak. Peak drinkability for half the price of Mike Lindell's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> if you well, as I was ordering, I ordered some packs for the team and stuff, and like depending on where you're getting it shipped to. I didn't get it with getting. with shipping a 12 ounce bag is going to run you like 18 bucks. Yes, yeah. which is with yeah. with shipping great. For um, what you need to do but is if you, but if you, trust us that it's yeah. excellent. Sign yeah. up for their get a subscription. subscriptions and buy like two pound bags and yeah. get you a nice the, airtight the container goes way like and then the, get the airscape. You the Get yeah. you the Airscape container, which has been great for us. It's keeping everything super fresh. Which the first, like, go ahead and order your small bag, the first one, yeah. and prove to yourself that I'm poor, yeah. we're telling we're you it's, it's excellent, great. good stuff, and uh, not Mike Lindell style. But no. you, like, you're gonna love the way you're gonna you're gonna, gonna, look, you're gonna you love the, the way, way this tastes. Feel <laughs> after you. You're gonna. What? I can't. I you're gonna, gonna love the way you look. I mean, if gonna, you have a caffeine aversion, you're gonna not wake gonna up, love the way you feel. After you're gonna wake up from sleeping on your my pillow. Have a cup of just coffee. <laughs> You're going to slide slippers. into your slippers. <laughs> my slippers. I'm going to have yeah. my coffee in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to go in my car uh, to my job. Uh, yeah. Chromebox.com forward slash coffee. Go check it out. It's great get stuff. It. Good. It's good. It's good stuff. You can get it in whole bean or or uh, drip. drip ground coffee. Get the whole bean if you can. Get a grinder. It's great. It's better. Okay. Uh, let's talk quickly. I do want to at least mention the uh, the notepad. Patents. Yeah, so patents filed so it back just gets, in It got me June. excited. Yeah, June of 2021. 20, uh, so that was around the same time some of those early rumors had gone up about it. So uh, it didn't really tell us anything new. It just confirms a couple things. One, that it's uh, looking like it definitely is going to be a wide screen when you open, which just then no. confirms it'll be wider when it's closed, yeah. uh, which is the biggest uh, thing for me. Uh, and I think a more usable outside yeah. screen. And and I think if you've never used one of these foldable phones for a lengthy period of time, you're like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. But it really gets uh, frustrating to, to use because whether you think you're going to or not, if you, if you buy a foldable phone, you'll use it with it closed quite a bit because mm-hmm. you know Just you, reach in, you reach in your pocket, grab out, look at notifications, the, you know, yeah. put it back. Um, so you're going to use that outside screen a lot, probably yeah. like fifty percent of the time, to be honest. Um, and the opening it up is like, okay, I'm ready to dig into something or sit and spend some time just on my phone or doing what it like watching a video or whatever, um, or playing a game or something like that. And the other times you're going to have it close. It's just the way the way that you're, you're going to use it. 
And so having a screen on the outside that is more like a normal phone screen. Right. Uh, not a, it not helps a Snickers make, bar. Yeah, and it helps make apps work better. Uh, it helps uh, your keyboard not feel so cramped. Just It's a bunch of things. Um, and I'm, I was surprised. I thought maybe Samsung finally with the Fold 4 would start moving in that direction. I just think it's a smarter. Like everybody that reviewed the Oppo Find N, yeah. which was their their first foldable, but Great they went that it. Yeah, they're just like, this feels so much more. It's Yeah, the screen on the inside is... I don't know, six or like seven inches versus the almost eight that you get on the the fold. But the Galaxy the Galaxy Z Fold is almost a square screen. It's slightly it's actually a little tall when you first open. You can flip it and it's technically landscape, but it's it's more square than four by three. Mm-hmm. Um it's it's pretty close to square. Uh from the looks of it, the Oppo it's still a landscape kind of right. thing when you open it. Because you're, you're square, you open up, boom. Yeah, it's it's more like a landscape screen. Um, and if you think, you know, if you took a 16 by 9 screen, yeah. fold it in half, you you, you get, right. uh, or a, no, I'm sorry, yeah, 16 by 9, you get, um, what would the, 8 by 4.5, which is going to get you pretty close to 16 by 9 again on the other side because 16 by 9 is almost a 2 to 1 ratio. So, um, you know, with... With that layout, I mean, I think it just makes more sense. If I'm holding a portrait phone and I want more screen real estate, used to is like go landscape and deal with whatever oddities you might run into there. It's like no, and I open this thing up and it's landscape, and I, that's just kind. Of, I don't know. That makes more sense yeah. to me. Even you can just, have two screens on each side, multitask. Yeah. You can watch a movie right. in that orientation. And if you want it portrait though, it turns yeah, out fine. Still no big deal. Yeah. But I feel like when you open it up, what that you would should want be is yep. yeah, you want a landscape layout. It Absolutely. makes more sense. And so. I think it's just a better form factor in all ways. Uh, it'll have some bezels from the looks of it. They're actually going to put a uh, front-facing camera in the bezel. Um, that was what the patent was for. I have no idea how they got a patent for that. Um, it's like we were talking. It's like, is it just a I don't know. different, slightly different way of doing it's like it? camera with aperture in bezel for foldable screen. <laughs> what? But didn't Samsung do that? Like the first fold, remember, had the big kind of cut out in the right corner Mm -hmm. for the camera. Is it maybe in screen? Like, is this one going to be like a little hole punch and mm -hmm. maybe that's why? No, it's in the bezel. It's clearly in the bezel. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and I I don't know if people are looking at this and like, oh, the bezels look a little bit bigger than the Samsung's. Yeah, they probably do. But, again, if you've used a larger screen device, you know, having some bezel to hold on to is actually kind of nice. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's not. Like, you don't want to be big, you know, half-inch bezels on the edge and it doesn't look like that at all. It really, the way the patent picture looks apart from the screen going all the way across the center of it the top and bottom little hinge sections kind of where they're highlighting different stuff in the in the patent drawings it look it reminds me of the uh, microsoft surface duo yeah. it looks exactly like it actually because it has a slight bezel across the top and small bezels you know around the edges and then the the two you know because it's two screens mm-hmm. two separate screens connected with two really great hinges i, I think that's just from the drawing it's just an optical illusion a little bit it, it's not going to look like the the, the duo but it's going to have I feel like more of that form factor ish uh, which I, I love the duo um, I love the the form factor of it I hated the fact that they had a huge gap in the middle of the screen basically <laughs> yeah because even if you could span stuff like especially for like first person shooter type games like that's that's where you got to shoot it's in the middle of the screen all the time so everybody you're aiming at like disappears into the crevice um, and so <laughs> they're gone oh, man, you can't see them anymore um, and so yeah it's it it, but it was useful for like multitasking and stuff because yeah. the size on each side made more sense. Like even again with the, the, the Z Fold, you open up this little candy bar, and if you want to go side by side with your apps, they're both little candy bars too. Like you, it's you got to open it, flip, and then go side by side. And like this, I just think overall this is all going to make this this device better. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that they filed that patent, I don't I don't know if they have any control over when patents get published. So this it was published like three days ago. Uh, it was filed back in June of last year, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't I mean, feel like they do. Probably, I feel like I they probably, like with FCC filings, they can file a letter of confidentiality, which means the FCC filing is applied for. It's going through the processes, and in that process, all the details are kind of hidden until right. a certain date. But once the filing is approved, then it's public knowledge. So right. maybe that's mm-hmm. what it is. Maybe it's just. Most of it's kept under wraps, and then it gets approved, and they they send them a letter and say, "Hey, your your filing's approved, and now it's yeah. going to yeah. be public." 
Yeah, because it's like, well, if, if they're just coming out with the public now, like that timing would point to maybe it is going to show up at the October event. Like if they were holding on to it for a certain date or right. whatever, I don't know, but I don't know if that's the case. Uh, and interestingly enough, yeah. too, this is the world. I don't know. W. It's a WIPO, um, something international patent office. I would. Oh, assume. Andy can. Yeah, look that up. But it, yeah, this wasn't just the U.S. Uh, patent office. This mm. was the worldwide world intellectual property. Intellectual organization. property. Yeah, that's oh, so off. Intellectual. Yeah, the world part. Your world. 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 world word, word. Word. It was world something. Mm. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So interestingly enough, that's it was a, a worldwide patent, um, which. That that organization apparently works with all the countries, different patent offices to trickle them down. Basically, say like, "Hey, if we all agree that it's this is a thing. You should agree too. It's a thing." Yeah. So again, they got a worldwide uh, patent on a uh, folding phone huh. with a camera in the bezel. Okay. But I don't really care about like patent laws. It's really crazy. Um, so not really so interested in the exact patent as much as like seeing the device. Like seeing actual drawings yeah. of the device for the patent. Yeah. Do you all think there's there's any chance that it it might actually like actually show up at this event, or is it more of a a tease I'm f- like I'm they did 50, it 50. at IO? I'm feeling fifty fifty at this point. Like I think it's a tease. But so here's the again. reason I don't think it's a tease <clears throat> is if they if they show up with it, it's, it's going to have lesser cameras than the Pixel Seven. It's clearly at best going to have tensor two in it. It's like if you tease it and it's like and it comes out later you're, you're yeah we, we talked about this getting into that ago, product yeah. cycle again where you're just like are you going to sell any of these things Cause oh, now people- or or if you have the pro or ultra or whatever your your f- biggest flagship you know nice phone that you just announced right you're, are you are you like, cannibalizing this, that a little bit right, by here's saying this other oh thing. here's this other one that's coming and okay well like, I'll just well, hold I'll off wait. and buy that I'll wait and see yeah. when that comes out and then right. I'll make my decision right. it's like I think you're better off just to launch it. Uh, I think it's going to be a niche product. So what if they tease it and say coming with Tensor Three, like next year? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's they Google, announced a, it's Google, they announced man. a tablet, Android tablet. That's yeah, coming that's next coming year, in like so. nine years from now. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Yeah, um, I think the hardware event would be a weird place to do that. I think mm-hmm. they. This is where we yeah. launch products. This is, so it's, this is a launch. Event, it's either yeah. going to launch. They're they're going to launch it at this thing, or they're not going to talk about Just it. Just keep an eye on Rick. You'll be able to tell from the look on his face. <laughs> yeah, if, they, if was, they're getting ready to surprise us, anything. He, he was grinning he's from like a kid in a candy shop, man. I love it. I love it. He's like, hey, 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 check hey, it out. We know what you're doing, dude. <laughs> check it out. Um, but yeah, I, I hope it shows up. I really do. Like the Pixel Seven and Seven Pro interest me, but nowhere near as much as the the Notepad would. Yeah, um, I would take the downgrade in camera hardware in a heartbeat. For sure. Yeah, I think I'm and with then, you on and that. It's not for everybody. I get it. Like, this isn't like, hey, instead of making a Pixel Seven Pro, we're going to make this. Like, no, that's no. not what this is. This yeah. is for the people <laughs> that are interested in like a different form factor and, and trying something else and yeah. spending a little bit more on your phone. And yeah, I I, I really really want to I'm, get my hands on one. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of with you. I think I didn't downgrade to the six but the six isn't you know it doesn't have all of the features that the pro does right? right and so i've been i've been using that phone for a while and it's great and it, it it's works perfectly for me like it's a right. great phone for me but there's always that like little part of me that's like oh well the pro yeah. had that i wish i kind of would have just gotten the pro you know and yeah so i'm like i've kind of been itching for that <clears throat> for for a, a, a new device because we're just you know we're techie we like having the See, newest cool stuff yeah. and so like anytime I don't have that, I find myself you want wanting yep. you know that 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 nicer device, and so I think the fold especially I haven't ever used. You've experimented with some folding devices, but um, you know that that I'm not willing to do it until it's it's gonna be from Google. Yeah, you know, a, a great just, experience. Now, if if I could get uh, an Oppo Find N with yeah, I don't do they don't have a Play Store do they mm, or do no. they? I is that don't just hold, is it might just be Huawei. I think it's just Huawei. Oh, I thought um, for some reason they didn't have it. Either. I don't think they have one you can buy stateside. You'd have to import yeah. it and hope no, that the all, stuff all that, works. Like that's all a whole your carrier mess. stuff. But if they had one of those um, with a pretty clean build, because they you know they use they're the ones that own basically own OnePlus or mm-hmm. their sister companies or yeah. whatever, however that works. Um, you know they have a pretty clean Android uh, build. I would absolutely give one of those a try. Uh, yeah, if, I, if there was one stateside, it's gotten, it just isn't one. It's it's gotten it's gotten pretty good reviews. Yeah, I, I just think it's a great like the form factor looks so interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 
you know, if I I think the the Pixel Notepad, I always want to call it Pixel Fold. <laughs> I think the Pixel Notepad is going to follow in a similar trajectory. And you know, Google is doing has been working on foldable phones for a while from a software right. standpoint, like making Android better. A 12L was a big step in that direction. All that stuff obviously rolled into <clears throat> Android 13. So it's like I feel like Android is at a spot where it's ready yeah. for this form factor and. You know, Google having a flagship phone that supports that, I think, is it's an important move, whether whether it sells a bunch or not. Like, they need it. It'd be like them, you know, how many years they went having Android and never having a an Android phone of their own. Like, the Nexus line was at least something um, that, that that they could kind of put their name on. Um, or it'd be like them, you know, going forever if they only had other people making Chromebooks and they never yeah. once made their own Chromebook. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It'd just be weird. Like, yeah. you should at least. Should, you know, show us a couple every yeah. once in a while. And I think the fold could be something like that. It's I, like part of the pixel family. So. It's a thing, you know, we're going to use it to help get better at making foldables. Cause now we're vested in, in right. this ecosystem. Yep. We're not just like, Hey, you guys will, yeah, we'll fix that hardware or that software thing for your hardware eventually. Yeah. Well now they, if they put out a phone, it, it kind of vests them into that whole yep. ecosystem. And I do think <clears throat> eventually folding phones are, are going to be a lot more normal. Um, because there's just some extra things you get with them, but you know they 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 have some time to go before they become mainstream. I think. Yeah, um, but but Google Google getting in on it is is yeah, going to push it. Yeah, it's the and it's the right move for them. I think. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, regardless of why they do it or how uh, they do it, like I really really would love to have a Pixel phone that yeah. folds in half. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not this way though. I could fold no, this no, in no. this way. Yeah. See, I'm I'm kind of pass the. I just have no urge to the the whole folding half thing. I'm yeah. like, if I carried a bag Flip. or something and it went in a bag um, all the time, I would be like, I want to go, I want to go up to Timo and fiddle with the new. They made a new one, didn't the they? Same thing. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to fiddle with it. I just there's something I really like about it. Um, he's, he's that I've bag, never, that old I've, cell phone day. He wants to hang up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Never talk. I, yeah. Talked to your dad on the phone yesterday. That's like the only person I've talked to on the phone this if you're, <laughs> week. If your other hand's full, you just get it on the side of the leg, close yeah. it up, you know, yeah. <laughs> right in the pocket. <laughs> that's right. Negative. Does it uh, flip open? Can you flip it open? Oh my like the gosh. That's why, that's why Michael Fisher likes it so much because it's like a Star Trek thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not my. I, I want uh, the, the folding factor to give me <clears throat> phone and tablet. Right. That's, yeah. That's yeah. always been the dream. Playing, like, and that's why playing I want, games. Like, I want uh, apparently Samsung. The rumors too. They're making a Galaxy Tab foldable, so oh, yeah. a big tablet that folds down nice. to a small tablet. Yeah. Maybe I, I don't guess. know. What would be the point of this? I don't know. Uh, so you can squeeze it into your back pocket <laughs> because <laughs> I can. But I like that uh, they have a long way to go. But the, these new laptops that are coming out, like yeah. Asus yeah. has one. It's like you know eight thousand dollars or something yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, super but super staff just posted a. Uh, something i don't know what i've long is. said like to me a, a phone that yeah. opens up to a tablet is the one thing and then the laptop that can unfold is a be a nice big monitor for me to work at at the desk yeah but fold in half and be you know typing laptop. down here in, in its laptop it's both of those things that that was another awesome form factor yeah. another thing you could do and so i know lenovo and asus are uh rolling trying, those out yeah, you know in its early stages of yeah. those things so they're expensive but yeah. i think that's where the folding screens could really mm -hmm. uh, excel yeah uh switching gears to chromebook hardware uh, we put out a review this past week of a device that we've had several folks on on the interwebs ask us when our review is coming out it's out yeah it's 714 yeah. go check it out yeah and uh you know i spent most of the review talking about this device in in uh, retrospect of the uh, spin 713s that have come before it mm -hmm. not because it's a spin 713 but because regardless one way or another that's that's it's, what people are seeing it it's as. the mm -hmm. spiritual successor because they're not doing a 13 and a half inch right i mean they the 513, 513. and that's kind of the point i made in the in the video is like the 513 <laughs> kind of took that mantle this year it's like it, it look if i handed it to most people they would go <clears throat> oh, okay this is the 713 right like it looks pretty darn similar um and so it, it's similar enough that it's kind of like, hey, here's our 13 and a half, three by two, quad HD, you know, the 713 formula, here it is, but we put a MediaTek processor in it and changed the name. Yeah. Uh, and I love that device. Um, I think it's a great Chromebook. Uh, it's thinner than the 713 was. There's no fans on it. 
the MediaTek processor and it's nice and fast. It's the you know the Campanio uh, 1380. <coughs> it's it's great and it's got the same you know big screen and all that kind of stuff. So this is a departure from that. Um, in a little bit of a, a ballsy one, really, mm-hmm. uh, for Acer to do because people love the seven thirteen. Like, yeah, they have. They, uh, there are a lot of people who that was just That's the go to. It like, was it was the best in its class three years running. People, a lot of people love the three by two display, yeah, and, and, and and I made the point in the review, like you know, people let that display could cover up a, a host of other errors <clears> with the seven thirteens. Like they all have bad keyboards; they're just not great. Um, they all have terrible speakers and they all had awful webcams, you know, but they had really good internals and a great screen to look at. And so that can make you just kind of overlook some of those things. Mm-hmm. And so what they did with the 714 is quote unquote, like skimped on the screen a little bit. We did, we did the numbers. Uh, I don't think we put that in the video. Did we, we didn't, we I didn't. totally forgot to do it, but, but we did. Yeah. Uh, I ran the numbers, these square centimeters. So your actual usable space on the screen is actually larger on the 714. It's a 14 inch 16 by 10 screen. Right. I was like, well, that because it's only a half inch larger diagonally, and that that three by two measure gives you a lot of extra real mm-hmm. estate. Uh, it, it was close, but the 714 actually has a little bit more screen real estate than the 713 did. Um, you know, the screen's 350 nits instead of, I guess the I think the 513 is a 350 nit, uh, but the 713 I think were always 400 nits. Yeah, you notice it a little bit side by side, but 350 is good though. Yeah, it's plenty bright, um, full color gamut. So sRGB is 100. percent You know, mm-hmm. um, great viewing. And angles. it's 16 by 10, so it still is a taller display mm-hmm. than a 16 by nine. Which I like. I've I've liked that on. We've talked about that. You know, yeah, on Apple's MacBooks. done it forever, yeah. uh, and for a reason. It's a it's a really good screen ratio. Um, <clears throat> the bezels are really good, so it's got small bezels all around, even on the bottom. Um, and so the 713, 513 always come with a huge chin on the bottom. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't. You can you can see it in the thumbnail a little bit. I tried. Yeah. I tried to get at least enough of the bottom. It just makes it look way more modern. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a laptop it's a you know more squared off edging around the bottom chassis but it's the same thing aluminum top aluminum bottom and that mm-hmm. composite kind of keyboard deck the keyboard is a huge step up to way better keyboard than the 713s and 513s um which is a big deal if you if you're going to type on it a lot it's just a way better key frame than most of acer's chromebooks uh trackpad is good a little small because they crammed in so you got a, a less vertical space and you're going to cram in upward firing speakers it's a smaller physical chassis and so obviously the trackpad had to shrink a little yeah. bit um great trackpad and once you kind of get used to it it's fine i'm just i've gotten used to these monster trackpads right. that are on a well, lot like of devices last last 713 had the big massive yeah, trackpad 513 on it. does too yeah 513 it's a huge too. trackpad and so a lot of these companies if you notice though they're actually matching the aspect ratio of the trackpad to the screen uh, oh H- really hp does yeah. that too oh, so, i don't know that i've noticed that uh, and your Acer's, eye notices your brain notices it though yeah and interesting the are that so way. like as you're moving on the screen it right. makes sense that it matches right whoa never yeah. thought about that the mac clearly well gosh it might it might you might resolution. check i know the magic the big magic trackpad it might be off but i bet you the one on the device might match yeah i don't know it might it's it might, so yeah. it is it is a uh, ridiculous it's huge ridiculous whole hand ridiculous trackpad uh yeah so let's see what else is there stowable stylus is back so the original 713 uh had a stowable stylus and they got rid of it for the incarnations that came after that and they brought it back for this one always like seeing a stowable stylus uh it's usi so you can grab a usi pin if you want but that one's always there it's charged up ready to go Port selection's great. Uh, Thunderbolt ports on each side, USB, full-size HDMI, all that stuff. Internals are crazy fast. It's um, uh, Core i5, i7, I think. Or do they do an i7? Maybe not. Uh, they're going to, yeah. Pretty um, sure. But the the one at Best Buy is Core i5, um, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of NVMe storage. Everything. That's the one we reviewed. It's dumb, dumb fast. Like, it just goes so fast. Uh, 80,000 plus on octane and mm-hmm. 240 plus on like speedometer doesn't have a 240 on the meter it's like just yeah, peg but yeah. iris graphics so it'll run yeah. steam so yeah steam out, games I come it's awesome it's, the the webcam's <clears throat> 1080p yeah uh and acer's been doing some cool stuff with their uh, they call it temporal noise reduction so yeah. they're using some software to make the picture look better and it works yeah. like and so you get this 1080p camera that has great um um 
what's the it's word like I'm looking for? Uh, exposure, exposure yeah. and dynamic range. It has really good dynamic range. Um, and more like a cell phone would have. Like mm-hmm. it just brings up the lows and you know kills yeah. the highs and you know gives you a good picture. And I just had people notice on Dur- webcams. During, yeah, during uh, the unboxing, uh, if you go back and watch the unboxing, we had kind of a live, a yeah. live shot of it happening. Yeah. Like when we filmed the review, obviously we kind of staged stuff. Um, but in the unboxing, you turned it over towards the very dark area of the room when we yeah, filmed those unboxings it it's pretty dark where i'm standing and it brought it all up and looked really good it didn't look like a grainy mess right and, uh so yeah i mean you start adding all that stuff up yeah are you sacrificing a little bit with the screen i, I guess i mean i to me it just never was a thing it wasn't like oh this screen is such crap you know i, I wish i had the other screen like I actually you know i'm kind of going through chromebooks and trying to decide what to use until we unbox what we have in the office right now. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I've got the the Asus uh, CX5601, their big 16-inch one that they unveiled way back at CES. Uh, it finally just showed up. So um, I'm going to be switching to it once we unbox it, but I don't like to really use a Chromebook and then quote-unquote unbox it. Mm-hmm. So um, leaving it in the box for right now. Uh, so in the min- in the meantime, I was kind of going through some Chromebooks today, and that's the one I kind of wanted to pick back up. And yeah. We still have the Dragonfly here. Right. Um, and right. it's not that I don't like the Dragonfly or anything like that. At, there's part of me that just doesn't want to get spoiled by some of the cool things that the Dragonfly has because we'd have to send it back eventually. Right. Um, and I'm I'm not going to buy it right now. So I, I don't want to get sucked into like the haptic trackpad and everything with it. But oh, and I forgot to mention the speakers on the Acer 2. They're really, really good. Um, our friend in email will love that I'll mention. They're not quite Pixel Book Go good. Uh, but. Yeah. Pie in the face. Pie in the face. Right somebody there. Say that uh, every time I mention Pixel Book Go, I should get a pie in the <laughs> face. I responded to an it's email today. I was like, hey, I'll, t- I'll take a pie in the face. If, you know, Someone, I'll take for, for the Pixel Book Go, I will. That's a, that's a quality For a video Chromebook. thumbnail, that'll be great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, there's nothing other than build quality of the Pixel Book Go, like the chassis itself. There's nothing else I really reference other than speakers. And yeah. It's, if you've never it's heard the them, benchmark for if you've never heard them, speakers, speakers. You, you don't know what you're missing benchmark honestly. for laptop speakers not yeah, just there are Chromebook some of the speakers. best laptop speakers i've ever heard in my yeah. life there it, like, and it's not like oh i could see we, where people like those you're like oh my we haven't God. done it we haven't done it with this device but we did it with the old macbook we yeah. had those two side by side we i should thought do it with the this pixelbook one too. go was better i thought than, the pixelbook go, go was richer yeah like the mac was maybe louder a little bit louder yeah but it wasn't it was as also rich. a 16 inch macbook versus a little 13 right. inch chromebook yeah, yeah. Um, they're, the, they're they're incredible they are and so to me, I'm like, if they can get that into a $649 Chromebook, that that means that we can compare it's, others to them. Yeah. This wasn't a $1,200 Chromebook. It's doable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I haven't seen them yet. Um, but these are good speakers. Um, very, very good for a Chromebook. Um, so, I mean, add all of it up. Put it all together. Oh, it's convertible, too. Um, does add all does of not have a together. fingerprint scanner, yeah, correct? Just like, right. What? Just put it on. Like it's, yeah. a, it's like a $2 part the, at this the, point. The, the OS the, already deals with it. Like You don't even have to do anything. The Just, Vero has it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The 499. The 499 Chromebook version. The, the, the recycled Chromebook has right. it. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, <clears throat> Very strange. It is weird. Um, but you know. I, do, have we have we asked our rep? Have we asked them? I guess we could ask. We, them. Like, we I'm asked, sure there's like, like a leave them all. We I'm sure it's someone, gonna be. We a, asked someone before, and they said that after after the initial launch of devices with those on there, they have just found that the consumer segment just doesn't care. That it's really not, it's not a big enough selling point for them to mess Gosh. with it on consumer devices. Just huh. crazy to me. I find that really surprising. I love it. I do too. I miss it. Especially the ones down on the bottom. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Like the MacBook has it up top. Whatever, it's fine. You kind of get used to it up the there. CX9. But right it. there, as you open it up, because you can also register your thumb, so you yeah. can pick it up off the desk and yeah. get your thumb right. and hit it too. The CX9 and whatever the random Lenovo I'm using right now both have them down by the keyboard. It's, I love it. Yep, and it's <clears throat> well, that's a throwaway part now. I, I don't understand. Like, put it in the power button. Yeah. Th- there's a hundred different ways you can implement. Bad. You could put it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so but whatever. Um, that's, anyway, that's the only thing I guess I would say on. it's missing. Right. Um, and, and so it's a, a very complete Chromebook. It got a couple bad reviews on Best Buy. I wonder if they had a bad batch or something. A couple people, I mean, they were having like speaker crackling Rattling issues or something, and, yeah. and trackpads not working and stuff like that. I mean, 
all we can do is review the one that we've got and that that review there were a couple one star reviews on best buy that has gone up like three and a half or 3.75 now because the number of reviews that are coming in where people are like this thing is awesome um and it is like you can't go buy two best buy reviews there, there are going to be people that get bad versions of this there are bad versions of everything out sure. there even max it's, it's and, manufacturing you know, it it's part of it <laughs> right so um you know if, if you're interested in this chromebook like it is it's pretty amazing has it been on sale yet yeah, it was on sale mm-hmm. yesterday. I remember, remember I, it, was it a hundred off or something? Yeah, so yeah. it was six twenty nine. That's, in, that's, cr- that's cr- a great deal. I mean, this is Do you put great. it in your roundup? Because mm-hmm. yeah, I remember I sent oh, it. I was like, right. hey, yep. did we write this? Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to put it in my roundup. It's because I had written the day before. There's a a one off like a uh, Acer five fourteen spin that was supposed to be. It's an enterprise device, but they have one random consumer model that's on amazon right now it's 7.99 but it's on sale for 5.99 and for 5 a, 9, 11th gen it's 11th gen yeah. same specs as this no stylus but for 5.99 great device i sure. mean it's it's like the 713 but the 14 inch i highly recommend it but if you can get this for 6.29 go get this no brainer that's, that's a no brainer yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> no brainer yeah, yeah. such so a good chromebook like i i do really really <clears throat> like using it yeah i really do enjoy it yeah uh we used it um I don't think we took it because the 350 nits out in the direct sunlight wasn't great. So we took the HP out um, when we did the shoot for the golf simulator video. Um, but <coughs> my actual use, like the device I used it on the whole time, I was using it as a golf simulator uh, on a Chromebook. It was that yeah, device. Too. Right, right. So. I like. I, I really love the design of it, too. And you, you, you mentioned it, uh, the kind of boxier design. Mm-hmm. And then the, the subtle, like, the subtle, uh, whatever you would call it, indention or cut in for the to be able to lift up the screen yeah, goes like the, way the whole way across. It's just yeah. I don't know. It's kind of it's just kind of a nice little touch. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't it just, really look like an Acer Chromebook to me. No, 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 no. Uh, it, and it's a little thick for, yeah. But it's got to have fans and all that kind of yeah. stuff in it. You know, it's this these twelfth gen Intel chips. <clears throat> they get toasty if yeah. you don't fan them off. Yeah, so. yeah. But I, the fans never bothered me once. No. Yeah, so I don't know how long because that deal was Best Buy, correct? The fu- the six twenty nine deal. Yeah, I think it's still on sale today. I have to go double check. If not, answer. it will be on sale. Yeah. It's that's yeah. For my the rest point. of this year, one hundred percent, it will be. My my point was it's uh, it's Acer. They put out devices and they go on sale. Right, they price them to sell. Yeah, to to go on. So sale. if so. you're interested in this, <clears throat> this device and you see it at retail. Uh, maybe hold off for I'll be honest, just a little bit. If you paid retail for it, like if you needed a mm-hmm. Chromebook and went and bought it at retail, like you're not you going to regret do it either. Wrong. No, mm-hmm. no. I, yeah. I don't, not at all. But with the frequency that they put things on sale, it's like yeah, if you, you don't can have to off. have it, if you could hold for maybe a couple weeks or something, yep. it's likely Plus, to be on sale. Plus, what do they do on the, the financial reels now? Everybody goes, they don't know I know this trick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy it and then it goes on sale oh, yeah. in a relatively short amount of time, best buy good on them we'll generally honor that and give especially you, once you we get to it's probably october when they start their yeah. holiday shopping stuff yes. they'll double they, you get like your return window goes all the way through january yeah. or something yeah so, so return can, window on a chromebook is 14 or 15 days yeah if it goes on sale inside that window best buy will generally refund you the difference which right. is which is awesome without you having do. to exchange yeah you don't have to exchange or anything right. you give them the receipt they'll credit you the money back which is on. awesome yeah i mean so. good on them and saves, it should be it saves time probably saves them all kinds of time saves time saves money yeah. In the long run. like Because now you're having to them. restock that thing, sell it at a loss because it's an open box. Yeah. yeah it's, it's good. That that was really smart. Everyone should do that. I think, yeah. Why is that not Walmart does it. Walmart just takes it back and then it ends up going in the trash. <laughs> it ends up on one of those those pallets. <laughs> those pallets. Yeah. Is there something wrong with this? Gabe we don't rebuys know. it. Gabe Gabe returns it and, and then sell rebuys it back it. to you. Yeah, there you go. No, track, crazy though. Like I returned I yeah. returned like a three hundred dollar Christmas tree for my mother in law uh, last year. And then he got it on a pallet the next no, week. No, <laughs> no. Lowe's Lowe's policy, if it's a if it did not come from the store, so it's one of the brands they sell at Lowe's, but we bought it online. Well, she opened the box, did not like the color. Did not take it out of the plastic. The bands were still around it. Everything. I sealed the box back up. Took it. They said, thank you. Here's your money back. Blah, blah, blah. Go take this. They throw them in the dumpster. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get that. I mean, yeah. I'm there's, like, you there's could at least a, sell them to one of these companies that does these pallet things. Yeah, like, there's a, that's it. like a whole thing. And I think they, um, I, that, there was some creator person that I was following who was doing like 
dumpster diving basically and i think like it got popular enough that they like started putting cameras on stuff so people oh, yeah. can't do it i'm sure they don't want people up crawling around yeah, a dumpsters. lot of those guys it's do it safe. around uh, not. Game, not safe game stops and stuff like that they'll do dumpster diving at game stops yeah. and find all kinds of crazy like collector memorabilia and stuff like yeah. that yeah why'd wild. you throw out that stuff andrew yeah andrew andrew worked there at one time i did but we actually didn't throw stuff out well I mean, we did we'd break it first like like wow. literally we would have to break <clears> it stinks. and then toss it yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a bummer. Well, but like if I can't have this, no one uh, yeah. will. <laughs> but it's great. Like if, if 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 companies start doing that, where if it goes on sale, just honor that. If it's in the return window, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Just do that. That makes so much sense. Okay, uh, I think that's it for this week. Yeah. Um, uh, if you are interested in the 714 and you haven't seen our review, definitely go check that out. We'll link it down in the description. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. If you're watching this, uh, or I'm sorry, if you're listening to this, go check out the video version. And, and subscribe. And enter to win. Uh, yeah, click the click the subscribe stuff, the thumbs up stuff, the, the bell stuff. Yeah. Do all those things, but also click the link in the description to get entered to win a Lenovo Chromebook Duet 3. It needs a home. Yep. It's sad. It okay, is. we'll see you all next week. Bye.